Alrighty, <clears throat> this will be the people news. One more time at it. Mm. Alright, never look straight forward. Always look around us. Be able to protect ourselves by any means necessary. Alright, use your Second Amendment. Arm yourself with knowledge. Quit going by hearsay. Alright, judges are hearsay. Attorneys are hearsay. Cops are hearsay. And everything is written in law. And clearly and slowly read these things so you can understand them wisely. Alright, uh, la 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 la. Let's just go ahead and proceed forward. This is education, okay? Uh, anything I say or do is just my opinion, my opinion only, okay? Uh, again, it's because I'm hearsay. <laughs> issues concerning corrupt practices, contested congressional elections, campaign finance disclosure, and credentials and qualifications of House members also fall under its purview. So they got a copy. I sent a copy to, who is this to? I think this is the Inspector General of D.C. Is that what it is? NG, NCR, Army, MBX, NGB, IG, Gmail, Mail, that Hill. I think that was to them. And then finally, because I did it by fax, I sent one to the Inspector General of the Department of the Defense. So, man, I've told a lot of supposed officers in the United States who are supposed to have taken the proper oath of office. But if we look just real quick at the forms that they would use. So this is the form that uh, it's called SF-61 form. That appointment affidavits go on, which would have their names on it. And then, you know, I pointed this out in four or five videos a year ago, right? Look at how they split. This is these words, all these words here, up to I with this space, all of those words make up um, the words out of 5 USC 3331. But they split it. Right? They put this A, Oath of Office. So from here down is the Oath of Office. According to A, the part with I, whatever, doesn't have a damn thing to do with it. It's outside of the bun. It's not under the, the heading. And this is the form that all civil officers are supposed to fill out and have as part of their uh, official record. Okay. Now I think I actually have a... That Rosita got this. Where is it? So let's take a look at one that somebody did. Here's one. Let's look at, they, they took it out of hers, right? Rosita asked for a copy of this appointment affidavit, which is hole punch like it's in an official record someplace. This is a FOIA, right? And I... Well, I take that back. Carol B. Maiden, that's what it was. They, they used her with her middle initial. Do solemnly swear for her that, and then da 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 But there's no seal. There's no commission. Um, you know, this form isn't done properly. Now, compare that to the form that uh, a military officer takes. That'd be your DA-71 form. It uh, looks like this. It says this form will be executed upon acceptance of appointment as an officer in the, United, the Army of the United States. Blah, blah, blah. I, and this says first name, middle name, last name. Not first name, middle initial, last name. Right? They want what? Your full legal name. Um, and then again, even though they've taken this oath, and even this isn't worded exactly um, as the oath in 5 U.S.C. 3331, because they added this thing about appointed an officer in the United States Army. Right? They threw that line in there, so they're not taking the wording that's mandated by the law. They make it up their own. And unless you can show me a record that says you can do that, well, you can't. But at least they're using their whole name, Robert Allen Ritlewski. 
you know, they wouldn't be doing it with a middle edition. Like the um, supposed assistant attorney general on 6 2 2013. Washington, D.C. Hi, Carol B. Mason. Yeah. Okay, Carol, what about your oath that satisfies the sixth article of the Constitution? Now, show me that one. See, we're just auditing their paperwork. This isn't that difficult. You, you don't need to do anything. They need to produce the paper. All right. All right. And here's why I remain helpful that doing all this to the military is going to make a difference. And I know this, if you put that law into your court case, it's going to make a difference. If you send it to the chief judge, it's going to make a difference. Right? Get that law, 1 Stat 23, and submit it as part of your court case and demand relief saying your civil liberties are being violated because this law hasn't been followed by the tribunal that's uh, making a determination about your life, liberty, and happiness. All right, there you go. There's a sentence. This is why, forgetting that for a minute, why I believe it's going to make a difference is what the Bible says. Because there's one group of people in the Bible that come through pretty much unscathed. In fact, they're the, of anybody. Uh, and I'll stretch that out a little bit more, y'all. If everybody's filling out paperwork in the courts, Right, the clerks and all that, and they're supposed to have this correct oath of office and all that, and they write their names and and all these signatures and all that. Isn't that fraud upon the courts as well? It's just a question. There's the and the judge agreeing to everything, um, because what would they charge us, right? There's in the Bible, this the centurions. You, know, you need to do is search on the word centurion. And when Jesus had entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. So we know in that story, hey, I got a servant at home that's ill, but I'm not worthy of you to come in my house. You say the word, I know he'll be healed. Centurion goes on his way, and Jesus says to his followers, In all of Israel, I have not seen such faith. Well, who had the faith? The centurion had the faith. But it goes on. Uh, and now the centurion and they... So for some of y'all religion people out there, uh, you can kind of look at that. Okay. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Save some time. But then watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those signs. And Pilate marveled if he were. God's just waiting on you. Please go. Go forward. Right? Go do the right thing. Let your conscience be your guide. And this would all be done. Just go do what needs to be done. Because they didn't follow the law. In the I would even stretch that uh, for you, some of you rigid religion people out there, right? Uh, I would write all that down. And use the First Amendment and put that in the court case as well. What's it going to do? Give you strength or would it weaken it? I don't know. But we got to think outside the box, right? That's the reason why we don't look straight forward. <laughs> uh, uh, well, then we're going to end it on this one. This will be the People News. Bye, y'all.